In this class, we are going to learn how to set up Visual Builder Studio in order to work on Visual Builder applications. I am here in the official documentation page by Oracle on administering Visual Builder Studio. There is a table of contents provided on the left hand side. So from here, if you want to know what is Visual Builder Studio, we can have a look at this. Visual Builder Studio is a robust application development platform. This will help your team effectively to plan and manage your work throughout all stages of app development life cycles that is from design, build, test and deployment. So there are a few more details on Visual Builder Studio. You can have a look at this. Now in brief, we will look at how to configure or create a Visual Builder Studio instance. So there are a few prerequisites provided over here. You must be having an Oracle Cloud account. You must be having an administrator role or you must be having some privileges with which you can create an instance. So in order to create a VB instance, there are a few steps provided over here. We'll now go through this one by one. So first step is we need to log into this cloud.oracle.com with our tenancy or Oracle Cloud account name. Let's go to Oracle Cloud instance. I have already logged into my Oracle Cloud instance. If you don't know how to log into your tenancy or Oracle Cloud account, we have created a separate class on this. Please check out that class for more details. So once you are here in the login page, we need to click on this left top corner that is menu button or the hamburger menu. And if you scroll down, there is an option called OCI Classic Services. You need to click on this. On clicking on this, we will get a bunch of options from here. We need to click on developer. So same steps are mentioned over here. We need to click on this navigation menu. Then we need to go for OCI classic services and go for developer. That is this one. So once the developer page opens up, as you can see, I'm already having an instance created. That is the thing about this one. So if you don't have any instance, we need to click on this create instance button. And we need to populate the name. It must be a unique. Then a description, notification, email. You can provide your own email address or you can give some support email address based on your requirement uh, you can select your home region also this home region will be visible over here currently my home region is us east ashburn you can change if you have any other then we need to click on test and then we need to click on the create button it will take some time and then the instance will be created so in our case the instance is already available so once instance has been created you can click on this actions button over here and click on this access service instance upon clicking on this option you will land into this page that is the oracle visual builder studio or the developer cloud service once we are done with creating the vbs instance next our focus of interest is creating a project wherein we can start building our visual builder applications in order to create a project to work on visual applications there are two steps that is create and set up a project for development that is different identity domain and another option is same identity domain that is if you want to develop a visual application using VB Studio instance that's in a different identity domain than your Visual Builder instance, then you need to follow this option. In my case, the Visual Builder instance and the Visual Builder Studio instances are both in the same identity domain. So I'm going for this option. In your case, if it is different, you can go for this option as well. Now, in order to create a project, what we have to do is on the organization page, we need to click on plus create. Here already I am in organizations under projects. We need to click on this create. On clicking on that, we need to populate few details on the project details page. Uh, that is the new project wizard. We need to enter unique name and the description for the project. I am entering test VBCS project underscore zero one. So here we can select the security as private so that we can add the users to whomever we want to give the access to for this particular workspace or the project also we can have a shared so that it makes the project code all the documents of wiki task builds available to everyone inside your organization as of now i'm keeping this private and the language you can select from here a private project is accessible to invited users only users who aren't invited can't access it or make the changes to it but you can anytime invite the users if you want them to collaborate in your project a shared project is nothing but anyone in our organization can contribute to your project so once the details are filled click on next here we need to select the template we can go with the temp empty template 
or the empty project then we need to create the build jobs pipelines everything from scratch if we are going for empty project at the time of creating this project we are clear that we are going to work on visual applications so i am selecting this in your case if you are creating any extensions for oracle SaaS, that is the fusion cloud in applications then you can go for application extension so i am selecting this visual application and clicking on next as it is mentioned on here on the template page you need to select visual applications and then click on next here it will ask for the git repository name i am keeping this as default it will create a git repository specific for this project so that you will get a workspace and the branch wherein you can work so what is a workspace workspace contains all the artifacts that you need to develop your visual application including a cloning of this project's git repository and the branch which contains the source files so we'll learn in detail uh, what this workspace means and uh, what is this branch means and how we can create a multiple local branches and how we can push this branch in short it is mentioned over here our working branch is simply a copy of a master which will serve as your own private work area in your workspace you can always switch branches later you can have a multiple branches for your development purpose so whatever branch uh, you find is working fine then that could be pushed to the master branch i have missed to select the development vb instance I am selecting this VB instance app. This is already configured for me. Upon filling all the details, click on finish. In the development VB instance, if there are multiple instances to select from, you can select one from the drop down list and you can create a project. So, this project creation will take a couple of minutes. So, I am pausing this video for a couple of minutes and will resume once everything is done. So our project has been created successfully here upon finishing the project so will it will take you to project home page in our case it has taken us to a project home page next when you create a project using visual application template then following artifacts are created one is a git repository let's check so in our case a git repo has been created we can just copy this to clipboard and clone to our local machine and we can clone the repository a development environment will be created let's now verify let's go to this environments and we can verify in our case development environment has been created if you want to create any other environment like test and production we can just click on this create environment and we can configure accordingly next thing it will create a job that is a packaging and deploy job also it will create a pipelines let's verify let's go to build as you can see we have two jobs over here one is a visual application deploy another is a package if you go to pipeline it has created a pipeline that is to package and deploy if you want to create a new pipeline then you can create accordingly if you want to create a job in order to deploy to any other environments other than development environment we can create a separate job for that purpose so one thing what we need to modify is we need to configure the deployment job for that we have to go to this build under jobs we need to select the deployment job and configure our username and password so we will do that we need to go to this build section and we need to click on this configure configure action which is available for visual application deploy click on this configure then as the documentation says we need to go to steps and we need to change the username and password go to step and here we have to change the username and password I will update the username and password now i have updated the username and password for this step that is for oracle deployment and i'm clicking on this save button we can now run the pipeline and we can verify if required so we'll do that in the navigation menu click on the builds and click on the pipeline and then we need to click on build go to build go to pipelines and we need to click on build it has submitted a request as you can see our build job is waiting for executor so it that will take some time in order to deploy now we can go to this workspace and we can click on this workspace so that it will open our application in visual builder instance as you can see our workspace has opened up in visual builder instance 
so here if you see we will get a git repository name and the branch where we are working currently if you want we can switch the branches from here and we can rename the branch we can commit and push to the master repository so like this we can create visual applications and we can collaborate with the team we can build the web pages or applications collectively with the team effort